students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, Holy Cross Catholic International School is happy to celebrate with you all its 10 year anniversary. To commemorate this notable event, we have decided to prepare a show that none of you will forget. It has been a challenge to be able to put on such a show we had to involve each and every one of our school clubs. Our clubs focused all their efforts to make this show a reality. What could come out of such a teamwork? More than just a drama. But I will let the audience members decide for themselves. Let me not delay the play any longer. tell you a story. A story which happened a long time ago. It is not fiction, but it is a true and amazing fact that humankind history has kept safely. But I don't want to just tell you this story. I want you to live it. So come with me and I'll guide you through the ages. To a time where the cathedral spies were trying to use the stars. A time where Christianity was informing, not only to the individuals, but to the families, the villagers, the towns, the corporations, the land, and the countries, to a time where the European Catholic Kingdom was the glorious center of the known world, a golden age, the Middle Age. At the time of our play, the church and the state work hand in hand, helping souls to reach heaven with security. But this wondrous equilibrium is at stake. It is August 1571. The Turks conquered the island of Cyprus. The Venetians, who are Catholics, have to surrender. The Ottoman Empire is extending its dominion over the Mediterranean Sea, threatening not only Europe, but all of Christianity. What will the Catholics do to preserve both their country and their one true faith? The visible chief of the Roman Church, Pope Pius V, is faced with this. Wait. Someone is coming. What kinds of Catholics are they to refuse to help? Economic and political issues, I guess. You know well that the Kingdom of France cannot tolerate the Spanish dominion over the Mediterranean Sea. But France is the eldest daughter of the church. The French king has to take an active part in this war. Halt me, Lord. Thy holiness is not receiving at the hour. Soldier, the Pope gave us a mission that we cannot delay. I regret, but here is the authorization required in the Pope's seal. Oh, sorry, Excellencies. That's what happens when you leave the country for too long. No one knows you. The fate of every ambassador. But don't blame a god for doing his job. Them is not on our side. Wait. What? Can't you hear voices of angels? Ha! Huh. Maybe the Sistine Chapel Square presenting a new polyphony. I understand why the Pope does not want to be disturbed. What a nice melody. What a beautiful polyphony. Dear children, 
Thank God for the great gift he has bestowed you by giving you these pure and crystal clear voices. It is always an honor to perform a piece in front of you, Holiness. We can only encourage you to continue to praise our Lord and to promote our liturgy's beauty and splendor. Kneel down, my children. His Holiness is going to bless you. The performance was captivating. A moment of heaven in his valley of tears. Any news from Cyprus? As far as I know, the trucks agreed to let the villagers go unharmed. Blessed be God. But the problem remains our borders are weakened. We will have to... The ambassadors Ottaviani and Bachi. His Holiness wanted not to be disturbed. Let them enter. I have requested news from them urgently. Your, Your Holiness. My brothers in Christ, are you coming to us with good news from the French kingdom? Where to start? I'm afraid not, Excellency. Francis the first refuses to be involved in the battle. He obstinately refused to join the Holy League. As predicted. French people are proud. The Spanish aren't? Well... Are we right to judge what is hidden in their heart? And should we focus on not separating us? Let the French people keep their own borders. They will help us another time. Will there be another time for Christianity? Your Holiness, you do not yet know of the Ottomans' recent actions. To attack our boats on the sea and to block our trade is not enough for them anymore. Their pirates are bathing on our shores, burning cities, killing men, taking women and children into slavery and converting them to Islam. In Nicosia city, the tax killed almost 20,000 inhabitants. This infamy must end. And it will. His Lordship, Don Juan of Austria. Don Juan? The Spanish king's kid, just in time. You summoned me, Your Holiness. And you came like a faithful and dear son. The time has come for Catholics to act. We all know our enemies strengthening his positions. The Sultan will soon be ready to launch his massive fleet westward to first conquer Italy then Spain, then France, then all of Europe. The Spanish Empire will not permit such a thing. The countries which will band together to resist the oncoming threat and protect the faith will be called the Holy League. I have chosen you, Don Juan, to be the overall commander. Me? But how can it be? The League will be made up of so many different nationalities. Your first mission will be to unify them. They will need a trustworthy leader who will lead them to all. And for this purpose, we have made a special flag. Behold! The Republic of Venice will recognize its new commander, not the Republic of Genoa will as well. The Grand Duchy of Tuscany ratifies the Pope's decision. I know the Duchy of Abino will as well. The Knights Hospital are bowed to him in obedience. And we'll bless this flag on which the Divine Crucified is represented, for its banner is a sign of unity between Catholics, borne by the very nails of the cross. May the blood of Christ be my strength in the midst of battle. May it be so. You will have to recruit more soldiers. The league is not strong enough, and France will not help you. I will immediately send messengers to call all Catholics of goodwill to war. This is prudent, but don't forget what the Holy Scripture teaches us. Don't put your trust in swords or horses. Our enemy is fighting against our holy religion. We'll win this war firstly by our prayers. Cardinal? Your Holiness. Take good notes. We're going to start a spiritual crusade. Our rosaries will be our most beloved weapons. We want all the faithful to support the Catholic, caused by the powerful means of the Rosary. And you, Lord, go in peace with all our blessings. Be assured of our prayers. May the will of God be done. happening up there? Why are you not pushing? Hey, why are you not pulling? Who is not pulling? Hold on, the wheel is stuck on a tree root. How big? <gasps> big. Come on, we won't be stopped by a tree root. Let's just push harder. Ah. You 
useless. It didn't move a single bit. Need some help? Who is that? Look at his hat. Can't you guess? It's Paula's husband. Hi, Enrique. Are you also harvesting? Like all of us in the village, can I give you a hand? Can you give us two? This cat is totally stuck. If you could help them to push. Or help them to pull. It doesn't matter. Let's push. One, two, three. Ooh. Thank you, Enrique. We are on our last legs. Speak for yourself, Katarina. It has been a tiresome day. And this summer sun is so hot. You always complain. Before, the rain was too much. Now, the sun is too hot. Everything's a gift of God. Very true, Pepita. At last, our village. Look, they're already celebrating the harvest. <laughs> little rascals. Give room children. People are working here. Dad, could we help? We will appreciate it. Come over. We take them to the granary. Of course, just go ahead. Enrique, you are doing nothing. But you have stolen my job. Excuses. Enrique. Madam. That is my husband. It's just me. It's not just you. It's you and a bucket of water. May I? What a self-interested man. I was kidding, Paula. Don't you think I know you after 10 blessed years of life together? How was your day? Burning hot? It was quite sunny. Yours? Oh, you know, the daily routine after morning mass. Cooking, cleaning the house, washing some clothes, milking the cow, feeding the chicken, preventing one of your terrible children from killing himself. What happened? Our youngest tried to climb down the well when I was fetching water. I caught him just in time. Wow, you really had a full day. All I did was harvest the crops all day. Everyone has his or her own duties to fulfill, my dear. Dad, can you play with us? I would be very happy to. Gracia, shouldn't you tell your father what you did today? But it was not totally my fault. It was. Go on, little one. Speak. She fought with her sister over a trifle, refusing to give her a dog. She pulled my hair. Aha, what's that? But it was my doll. Speak to your daughter, please. Grazia, how can you be a good girl and love God well? If you don't love your own sister. I love her, but it was Yes, my... it was your doll. But you need to learn how to share. How to sacrifice yourself for others. Mm. Understood? Will you play with us? I assume it's a no. Time for Vespers. We'll continue this conversation later. And you, young lady, think about going for confession. Where did they go? 
Oh, Vespas. Never mind. Did you see what a nice Italian village and what joyful villagers they are? Here in the countryside, God is everything. The divine office and the Catholic liturgy are given the temple to those simple people living a simple life. Will you travel with me here and there, wandering through the narrow and dusty paths, surrounded with golden wheat and purple grapes, gazing at the beautiful and charming landscapes? Look around at these small villages, joyful clusters of our beloved religion, and in the very middle of each one of them, the most important building, the village hut, the church. Will you draw near the places of prayer with me? Peek inside, the whole village is there. Now, singing vespers as the thanksgiving of the passing day, they will gather tomorrow for the morning mass, seeking in the sacrifice of Jesus, the courage of the day to come. Courage! Our villagers will need it. Is that the Pope's messenger that I see on the way? Public announcement. Here is a message from His Holiness Pope Pius V to all Catholics. <coughs> My brethren, our holy religion is in danger. The Ottoman Empire has sworn to take us down. Their fleet is already sailing towards us, full of Saracens with greed in their eyes and sharpened swords. <coughs> For our God and for our beloved homeland, we summon all men of goodwill able to take up arms to join the forces, commanded by his Lord Jeep, Don John of Austria. Our forces will assemble in Messina, Sicily, and the embankment will be set of the 16th of September. Who will join this holy cause? I will. I will as well. Me too. Follow me then. Time is not on our side. Don't go. I must. You will not. Paola, you cannot prevent me from going. You're not a soldier. You know nothing about swords, nothing about guns, cannons, about... about whatever. But I know one thing. I am a Catholic, and it is my duty to protect the faith. Your duty? Your duty is to protect your family. Right. But what will become of the family if the tax invade our village? I go not only for God and for my country. I go for this village because I care for our children exceedingly. Because I care for you. As I care for you. Mommy? Yes, darling? Dad has to go. I know. You should not worry. Nothing can happen to him. The Pope said that Mama Maria will protect them. Indeed, but for that you'll have to pray. Of course, we will pray. Won't we, Mom? Yes, we will. Enrique, we leave tomorrow at dawn, just after mass. The journey to Messina is a long one. Tonight will pass quickly. Shouldn't we celebrate? Shouldn't we sing something? I don't feel like I can sing right now. It's high time we sing. Didn't the mater sing as they were being given prey to the wild beasts? Oh, sorry, madam. They were singing. The priest taught us last Sunday. Yes, kids, let us sing. <laughs> All of generous hearts, we depart tomorrow. Get ready, take some rest. Now, can I rest if you are shouting this loud? I sit with the of all that I have seen. Of me, the and matter. Oh, no.
Departed, indeed, they departed. Warriors and peasants, all Catholics so strong, they left at daybreak. Do you think they were wrong? For God, their country, their holy religion, swiftly bored out at sea, all ye faithful nation. I beg you, follow me towards the white seashore, onward to Messina, the Catholic harbor, where many galleys and other boats and ships, well over 200, face their poor cliffs. Jesus being with them, who could resist them? Defeat, impossible, they have to overcome. Rise up, O blazing sun, it's time to embark. Board and sail soldiers, fight and win, monarch. Today, our religion has not reached its end. So raise the anchor, there is much to defend. The sea is calling you, and you should not delay. You will go far away, far away from this bay. Creeping along the coast, Sailing towards the sun, our fleet peacefully prepares cannons and guns. The rolling of the waves, colliding of the hulls, cattle bossing and crew to the will of the currents.
Good to laugh sometimes. Good to sing too. Yeah, if I never know it was going to be this boring, huh? Boring? It isn't. Just the calm before the storm. Hope, sir. Can't wait to fight you now. You just come to fight. I'm a mercenary man. My job is to beat people up, don't ya? Not really. I simply want to give my life to and for God. If it fits ya, my lord. You cannot just come because of a thirsty blade. I cannot. Leave him, Louis. This warrior is going to perform the first good action of his life. So unfortunate he's not even aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say, fella? You are saying the humor, my dear. But he's not here to love. He's here to kill. Yeah? Making fun of me? Nice to meet you, sir. What a beautiful weather today. Let me take this chance to give you all of my greetings. Huh? I wish to know you more. Where do you come from? Huh? Me? You. I'm from Pisa. Pisa? The food? The city. Are you a Catholic? Not really, I can say. Baptized? That's what my mother said. And if you die during the fight? He has not come to die. He's here to kill. Seriously, you have to see a priest. Who? Me? It's a time for general confession, Mr. Masinari. Confession? Me? Never. Well, we must do something about this. Give him time. He will change his mind. Prophet? Oh, yes. I see it coming a mile off. The holy pizza machine. Pizza the food? Goodness! The town! Okay, let us assume it's your last meal and you're about to die. And and yes, if it's your last meal, what will you have? Is everyone dreaming about food? Just trying to stake up a conversation. So? Hmm. A last meal? For me, I guess it will be polenta. Polenta? No way, it's tasteless. Tasteless? But I eat that every day. The fact that you eat it every day is not changing the taste. Ah, but maybe with some onions? Not convinced. And you... It's pressure! Tea soldiers. My friend. Where do you come from? From a small village in the middle of nowhere, south of Italy, Commander. Peasant? Dear. Sorry, farmer. The sea does not frighten you. I was born in Venice, Commander. Water is my element. And what about fire? This, will it help you in the midst of battle's flames? <laughs> <coughs> no, Commander. I'd rather put my trust in my family's prayers. And you're right to do so. Is he tried to make a laughing stock of such a faithful man? I wish you could all be like him. Because a mop is more efficient than a cannon when God fights for you. Remember Samson and his donkey's job. I don't need warriors, conquerors, and heroes, well versed in sword and abuses, unbeatable masters. I, the church, need saints and holy people. As you approach our enemy, I command all of you to receive the sacraments. You hear? Put it on your soul. Go for confession. Go for mass. Now, now, now. Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to come the cause. To fight and not to leave the The sun is already rising. What day is it? 7th of October. You didn't answer me about the food. You French people have a problem with food. Hold on. I'm not French. I'm from Savoy. It's the same to me. Huh? Turks! Look out. What did you say? All about that! Turks! Russians! Stations! Soldiers! The enemies at hand! Let's give them battle. Not the cannons. The winds against us. But God is for us. Oops, sir. Look at that. They are so mean. What a fleet! There is still time for confession. Members of the Holy League, officers, soldiers, 
Time has come to do your utmost. Time has come for blood, gunpowder and death. Time has come for glory. Time has come, the time of God. The Pope summoned us, Jesus summoned us. The fate of Christianity is bound to this girl, is bound to this day. For the glory of the Blessed Trinity, for the joy of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for the protection of our countries, and for the love of our families. We'll fight up to our last drop of blood. We'll fight up to our last heartbeat. Purple day, day of fire and rage, day of God. Glory to God. Glory! All hail Jesus. Hail! All hail Mary. Hail! All hail the Holy See. Hail! And may you remember that there is no paradise for cowards. Voice the colors. After the first fright, after the first frown, where people like waves were running up and down, a sepulchral silence imposed its dominion on the Catholic fleet facing the horizon. Ten miles away, the dreadful enemy, a line for battle, a massive wall on the sea, still drew near, steadily longing to fight, facing the tragedy, wolves ready to bite. All hands on deck, now, Hear the detonations made by the deadly roar of thousands of cannons. The sad at its zenith cast shafts of bright light all over the battle, its oversized gunfight. Sparks, fire and smoke, white lightning and thunder, water blue, gray and red, vessels torn asunder, death above and below, to starboard and to port. Ghana, the music score you play, denotes for day. Behold, the two flagships clashing, prepare to board. With haste, time for glory or death, draw your sword. Turkish Janissaries, trained for hand-to-hand -hand battle, are on to the deck, for God, for our homeland. Of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among us, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Gracia, where are you going? Come back. What are you doing? What are you doing here, idol? Look, our people are in danger. The church is in danger. We are losing this war. Why are you not praying? Don't you want us to win? Take your rosary. Take your rosary. Take it, as the Pope said, and pray. And pray with me to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Pray for God's victory, for his kingdom on earth, for his vicar and for his Christianity. And pray for my daddy. Ave Maria,
Elias? Who? Who are you? My son, couldn't you recognize your mother when she comes to you? Oh, heavenly queen, I am not worthy to gaze at you. You are, because my son Jesus granted you this grace. My lady, I came to you as a joyful messenger. I came as a salutary rain after a merciless drought. I come to dry your tears and to tell you that our heavenly father has heard your petitions. The war? Your fleet will soon come back victorious because you turned your gaze to me and invoked my name. What can you find on earth that you can give back to you for what you have done for us? Am I not the one who owes you something? The whole of Christianity is in prayer and thus at your command. Each one of your salutations is a new act of love which I cannot resist. How powerful can the rosary be to bear such fruits? May this truth be known to all Christianity. I give you my word that it may be so on this very day and for all eternity will be especially dedicated to bring your rosary. In this I am well pleased. the job finally. Commander, we need back up upon the boat. Follow me, cleaner. Behind. You got, you see, I'm a killer. What's up, pilot? Look, our fellows have captured their flag. Keep it up, boys. No one will stop us. No one will stop the Great Ottoman Empire. And I will cruelly rip open all those foolish enough to repel us. Mama! Surrender. We have the high ground. I do what? Come your cockroaches! You come to me with a mop? It's a trustworthy weapon when you know how to use it. Trustworthy? Well, sometimes it's true it's not enough. Behold the almighty commander of such weak and coward people. Surrender, Admiral. Your feet has been overtaken. The battle is still on. Most of your galleys have been sent to the bottom. Our Kosayas can still change the tide of this war. The soldiers are dead. It's over. It can't be as long as... Okay, I surrender. A wise choice indeed. Victory! Victory! all those joyful voices, all shouting, victory, all hail sweet virgin, to God be all glory. Yet, the soldiers still fight on, and the tanks still resist, the cannons still rumble, in the smoke and ruins. Our soldiers will not rest until twilight, because Janissaries are fighting to the last. Desperate but valiant, those dreadful knights will soon give up the ghost with a staff or a blast. And when the sun went down, the final cannonball swiftly blew in the sky, fulfilling its sad role. This large projectile rushed by, reaching its goal, put an end to the war. Tax! You hold your downfall. Silence came, sneaking in on tiptoes. Nights fell as usual, wrapped in dark robes. The moon rose, shy and pale, gazing at this mass grave. The sea, cold, dark, and red, a cemetery of the brave. About 300,000 men passed away in the Turkish army, more than in this play. And such a victory, for all eternity, will remain in history, the wonder of the Rosary. No power to prevent God's graces to be poured out. But Father, it's obviously a teacher, the first to convert uniquely to escape. He's not sincere? No. 
Have you the power to read souls? Goodness. Where did you find it? I'm interested. No need for such power. He'll simulate his conversion, run on it against kill our people. Rush judgment. Experience? Let me ask you a question, soldier. This prisoner, is he a human being? What? Is he a human being, made for God, loved by him, created for heaven? Am I a theologian? Definitely not, but an unbearable obstinate. Give way. Don't get closer to him, father. I know what I'm doing. He's dangerous! You're becoming emotional. It's understandable but unnecessary. Now close the door if you please and leave us alone. You called a priest? A man of God. I guess it is me. That's a nice fresh scar. <laughs> the fight was one week ago. Why didn't it heal? Because this one is not from your people, but from mine. I beg your pardon? My companions. My brothers in arms. They tried to kill you. They missed. Why? We don't call into questions our holy book. The Quran. I started to ask. I had some doubts. For many months, no one dared to answer me. On the contrary, they threatened me and even more. What do you want? I want answers. Well, ask your question. Where do I begin? The first one. About Jesus Christ. The story comes to an end, as it always does. So will you come with me one last time? Will you follow me to those silvery roads, like rivers under the sun? You might remember this place, the beautiful Italian landscape. But what a change here? Where are the shining smiles? Where did the laughter go? Tell me where the joy, bliss, and peace are, if you know. Villagers, what happened last summer, if I remember well, your voices and your songs were invaded in the fields, the streets, and the old square. Isn't tomorrow the Feast of All Saints? Who will sing the Mass? Our men are away. I can't. Don't be ridiculous. But you have only had low Masses for the past two months. You'll have to deal with it. Your men are still away. Those very men who left, all that mattered to them was to serve a noble cause. Men of strength, men of faith, men of blazing hearts. Paula, poor lonely mother, tell me if it please you. No message, no news, no letter from your husband, this simple and good man and fit to war. He forgot to take his scarf, and the wind on the sea can be quite cold. I'm afraid he might catch a cold, this scatter brain of mine. Are you, Are you the, the only, only joyful, joyful ones, little children? children? Too small to understand what is happening around you. You are born while others bore. You play while others pay. You smile while others die. Small grass here, the merry spark spreads gaiety all around you, like a wildfire in a forest. Will you not tell us one of your funny stories? Oh, she is praying. Let us not disturb her. Pray, little girl. Pray. Soon, sooner than you think, you'll get what you long for. Over there. Can't you see? On the narrow path going up to the village. Daddy! Hey, little one. Enrique. We won. And you're back. That's the only thing which matters. Wait, you have a mop? Ah, the mop. A souvenir. Sagmas tomorrow. Come, all of you. All is all that ends well. Yes, it is because of the Blessed Virgin Mary. If I'm in Lee, I'm on my way. If I'm in Lee, I'm on my way. My heart's at peace, my body's free. My heart's at peace, my body's free. My whole myself, my God is pleased. And my country shall be relieved. My whole myself, my God is pleased. And my country shall be relieved. You call me brave, I'm no hero. You call me brave, I'm no hero. How I survive, you try to know. How I survive, you try to know. You call me as a young baby, five for three, Mother Mary. You call me as a young baby, five for three, Mother Mary. So many boats upon the sea, so many boats upon the sea. Yeah, when they sing, we are.
Darken. The curtain is closing. The play is now over. Sailors are off the ship. But when a story ends, a new one begins. The stage is all yours. When the tide comes for party. You are part of the church, part of her history, part of the love of Christ, part of his mystery. The pen is in your hand. You are the one writing. Do you use golden ink and pen a nice and pen, 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 pen? Thank you. 
I want to tell you a story. A story which happened a long time ago. It was 28 years ago. Father Louis was born. Come, all of you. Let us sing happy birthday. Happy birthday.